Hello, and welcome to another episode. Uh, this time I'll be playing the other human sentinel, but I'm going to be doing it a little bit different this time. Still using the phalanx and the stronghold package, but what I'm going to instead focusing on, or be focusing on, is running up to people and detonating my tech armor whenever anything is close to me. And this build was kind of inspired by one of the Turians in the single player game, who was talking about basically, anytime you get bored, just detonate your tech armor. Enemies are close, detonate tech armor. You know, if you find some big detonate tech armor, whatever. Uh, I'm also specking for throw for the uh, maximum force, and it it has an incredible recharge speed all by itself, which will allow me to have some range combat ability to take out a bunch of the little crap and detonate combos for uh, detonate any combos that my team is setting up. But let's see about getting one going. And there's already people here. An important thing to keep in mind is that when you detonate tech armor, or uh, the cooldown from tech armor, happens on detonation, not when primed, or not when activated. Ran right into the blast radius of that. So what I'm going to do is hang out up here and look for poor saps, like this guy. Our first victim did not go well. Let's try that again. I don't think I White had him in the right position, so it didn't count quite right. So we can do better with the next demo. And you can see the, how hard the, this throw is actually hitting things. It staggered the scion. Then they get momentary immunity. And of course, I don't actually want to be anywhere near the Praetorian. I'm just not really sure where the range lands exactly. But, so far this is uh, not going too terribly. Although a lot of the time it's probably going to end up seeming like I'm just standing back spamming throw. But, throw is a, a fun power. And anything that manipulates the physics engine, uh, generally runs the risk of being hilariously entertaining. And... Alright, so somebody missile launcher them. I don't know that that was a missile launcher situation necessarily, but I will take it. There is a ton of latency in this game. Okay. 
So, speaking of latency, uh, the network code for this game was actually written by Psyonix, who you might recognize as the developers of Rocket League. Fun fact. Oh yeah, she is just dead. Is. Oh, alive somehow. Oh man, I don't even know. Yeah, I can't even tell what's going on anymore. I don't even know where Shivers went. Oh, I'm just gonna deal with this guy. using registering the bullet hits. Had it fired its eye lasers backwards. Yeah, this is pretty atrocious. Alright, wave ahead. Only a few more waves of this. Yeah, this, this build, I don't think it's working out quite as well as I was thinking it would. It might work a little better if there wasn't so much latency and I could actually see how well I was doing or not. But as it is, you see, I'm just, buttons are, I'm firing skills at things, they're just not hitting. Things are just passing through, like this is... So bad. Did not mean to detonate my attack armor there. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is insanity. There, this is unplayable. I, I don't even know what's going on. Staggered, taking damage. 
I think I got hit by an abomination. Look at the lag warping there. Jesus Christ, this is terrible. But that's fine, I'm gonna keep it because this build's not working out anyway. Let you guys see just how bad Radiancy can get in this. And a lot of the problem here is that the game works on a client server setup where one of the other players is the host and we're all connecting to them. So if you got a player with a shitty internet connection, or you know, if they're running peer-to-peer -peer software or some shit, like seeding a torrent, then um, their connection generally gets tapped out very quickly and can't handle the load of the game too. And then you get environments like this where everything's just miserable. Like, I honestly have no idea how effective this build is or is not. I think I revived them. Didn't I? Yep. <laughs> Look at that. And now I'm magically alive again. Jesus. This is terrible. Holy crap. This might be the worst I've ever seen it in this game. I don't know who this host is, but this is awful. I think the host might actually just atrocity person. They seem to be less affected by it than everybody else. We're just getting lucky right there. I'm not gonna play risky at all. I'm gonna try and at least stay alive. Because, you know, if you die, people will generally try to rush to you to save you. And if you die in a bad spot, you can get other people killed. The least I think I can do is try to not die in a bad spot. That's fair, right? And since I have no idea what's going on half the time, I, um, I can't exactly make an informed judgment of what is and is not a bad spot. Let's, let's try this out. Fire a missile down at the Praetorian. <laughs> I hit him. Nice. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> like, look at that. <laughs> this is so awful. <laughs> Whoever's hosting this needs to never host again. God damn. This is just something else. Like, you saw how many, like... I threw three throws at the guy who was primed for a cryo explosion. None of them hit. What is this? That seemed to work, though. Us or abominations. Now here's hoping we get the gut extraction point. Nope, of course not. 
I believe I've said it before, on this map you can get extractions down there, where I just threw the ball, or you can get them over here. And this one I generally consider the bad extraction point. It's very low visibility. The uh, There's not a lot of cover to use. The other one has a wall basically between you and everything. And you can fire over the wall just fine and use it for protection. This, this point does not have that. Somebody, maybe. There we go. And you can probably hear on the keyboard when I'm actually hitting the button to revive. But, like, the game never had me crouch down. A little closer, maybe? Alright, fine, fine. Jesus. Whoever's hosting this needs to not... Like, I don't even know what is even going on. <laughs> Whatever, we got through wave 10. We're gonna get the, the bulk of the payment, even if nobody extracts. Jesus, though, the latency in this is just atrocious. But the tech armor bursting doesn't seem to work as well as... I would at least like it to. That said though, you might find better results if the game was less laggy. I uh, hope you enjoy and uh, have a good one.